and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for stopping by the channel. So I'm at work and you guys, it's like the way this thing hitting me right now, I don't have time to get no long presentation together. I just gotta go with the flow, just go with the guns blazing. And what I mean by that is, I'm not talking about physical guns, I'm talking about these spiritual guns. And I just did a video a few days ago that was called um, Walking in Your Authority. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out so you can understand what I'm talking about in this one. So you guys, I was reading your comments and y'all was precepting in that video. Come on, I love it. I love it. But as I was reading your comments, this one scripture has been like weighing heavy on me. And it's a part in the scripture that I want to talk about right now because if you recall that video when I was telling y'all how when I saw the man and you know my first response was all right let me get out of here based off of what has happened to previous people you know when they encounter those type of situations you know like they could be minding their business and these forces just attack them right and then our first um response is to retreat and that's based off of fear and i was like whoa so y'all listen so in first john um chapter three verse two there is a section in a verse that i'm going to bring out to you right now because there's a reason why the most high was telling me in that when i told y'all in that video he said i heard the voice say walk in your authority so let's go it says here doeth not yet appear what we shall be i could just go ahead and go ahead and end this video right now just off of that because those of you who understand what i'm talking about doeth not yet appear what you shall be there is an entire system that is hell bent on you not knowing that one little verse right there do it not yet appear what you shall be see a lot of us have had the type of lives y'all where it's just been battle after battle after battle you know like it's like can i get a break right every time you turn around is some type of battle that you're going through the scripture says here doeth not yet appear what you shall be i understand that when i come on a public platform like this i open myself up for people to judge me and probably a lot of people would look at me and say oh she ain't been do nothing you know whatever not really understanding because a lot of us don't look like what we've been through right that's that's the power of god in your life you know a lot of us don't look like it so people will just dismiss you and all types of things oh she just a star lady don't even know the struggle i came out the womb swinging right <laughs> i came out the womb swinging in a family that had their mouth on me the whole time she gonna be this she gonna be that didn't live up to none of that battling disappointments and then still having a heart to love right facing my shadow side the stuff about me that's not nice that's not cute but then still having a heart to love that's the power of God. And the Most High said, it don't even appear yet where you shall be. There's some entities and some forces that know what you're going to be. You don't know it yet. And when I was standing there and that man was acting the way he was acting with me, and my first impulse was to like, okay, let me get out of here. Because that's what the society has done to us. But the Most High like, no more. No more. You walk in your authority now, young lady. You, you've gone through the battles, right? You've gone through the battles. You've shown me that you have an excellent spirit. I don't care what anybody else says. 
you have excellent spirit because after battle after battle after battle when you came on the scene even after all of that you came on the scene still loving still want to serve your community after everything that you have been through <laughs> somebody better hear me today somebody better hear me today do it not yet appear what you shall be see when i'm showing you the zodiac and those 12 principles you have and then you have the planets right those principles of righteousness see what they don't tell you is that that whole 360 degree see there is a part in there once you start mastering right go through the battles and you still coming out you still transmuting you're still becoming that alchemist guess what happens here there is a part when the physical man can't go no further and guess what happens the spirit man because each of us has a spirit man the spirit man now takes over you've gone as far as you can go in the physical and now spirit man takes over and you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be so knowledgeable and all those things you have to come from a surrendered heart so spirit takes over and that's what paul and i was saying i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet not i but christ liveth in me and the life which i now live in the flesh I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and died for me. That's that Christ consciousness. See, they have us waiting, you know, for something to come flying up out the sky, right? Because if you continue to keep waiting and not knowing, you are the real deal. It is you. You already have it. If you keep waiting, guess what? You're not going to stand in that authority. You would never, ever stand in that authority. You would never even realize this text when it says, hey, it, it hasn't even appeared what you shall be. Because guess what? When, when you tune in to that and you know who you are and spirit man has taken over, spirit don't see obstacles. They don't see mountains. Spirit does not see that. And see, and if you don't even understand that, you can't command the angels and you cannot command the demons when your shia went into that place what did they do they started running from him please don't torment me see don't torment me and that's why the holy spirit was telling me no ma'am you walk in your authority and a lot of you you are at that point where spirit is now going to take over and ain't nothing they can do about it. I don't care how much technology they bring in on the scene for 2024. I don't care. There's nothing that they can do about it when you move into that knowledge of who you are and spirit man takes over I am crucified with Christ. It ain't even no longer Naima. There's people who I knew way back when they come and they watching my channel and they still know me as that person. I ain't that person no more. I wasn't, I'm not even the same person I was last month. This life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, meaning I am filled with that Christ consciousness that now spirit takes over and it is no longer me. Anybody who has ever put their mouth on you, this is your word today that it doeth not yet appear. And let me say one more thing here. You are in charge of when it appears. You are in charge. Like In Vogue had a song a long time ago. Free your mind and the rest will follow. 
I love y'all so very much. Thank y'all for stopping by the channel. Shalom. Oh, 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 oh,